going on guys welcome back to the new welcome back to the new what's going on guys we're not having one of these days we're not having one of these intros we're good <laughs> why can't i not say why can i not talk what is going on guys welcome back to another video here on the channel thanks so much for watching yesterday's video with the white truck the wheels of tires she said she is going to be keeping them I knew she wasn't going to keep it as stock as she thought. She's like, oh, I'm going to keep it on stocks forever. I'm like, eh, i give it a couple months. You'll get sick of it. But no, she loves the setup. Fully locks, rides good. The only thing she said that she noticed was obviously highway tire versus the mud terrain. You just hear the tires hum a little bit. Other than that, overall, it's pretty freaking quiet because the AC is louder than the tires on the inside with the heat. So pretty happy with that. We're going to be doing some things on Nasty Red. However, this truck, when we owned it, I think like the first couple months that we owned it was the last time like any of the fittings or anything on this were greased as far as I know I didn't ask Roger if he did it when he had it all I know is that generally speaking lots of people forget to maintain that kind of stuff so we're gonna go through this thing we're gonna completely grease every grease zerk on the truck that it does have ball joints uppers and lowers U joints um, U joint on the rear drive shaft going into the axle we're gonna take some WD-40 and just spray some oil in certain components that you know it, it can't hurt it just to have a little bit more oiling just to help parts last a little longer and then we're going to be replacing the front steering stabilizer on this truck the steering stabilizer shock absorber if you look under reagan's truck that little silver grayish bar right there down low to the left of the front differential that had to be replaced not by plan it was kind of more like i made a mistake and i absolutely smashed it with the jack so i had to replace it however we do have another one of those and it should fit to replace nasty reds that kit was actually originally purchased to be a dual string stabilizer setup for nasty red way back and then we never did it and then i ended up having to use it for my wife's truck because it was broken in the shop with no string stabilizers so i had to put it on so we're going to actually do although it's not going to be a dual string stabilizer setup we're gonna be pulling off the old stabilizer that's on it because it looks like it's probably original, super old, and putting one of those heavy duty, bigger cylinder ones on there. And hopefully that'll help tighten up the steering just a little bit, give it a little bit more resistance. And then see how it looks. We're just gonna get all that stuff greased up, replace the steering stabilizer. And by the way, if you wanna get entered to win Nasty Red 2.0 right here. This is the original Nasty Red as a 2.0 model, KG1 forged wheels, 33 by 1250 MT tires, brand new, brand new Delmonico red paint. Thing is gorgeous. Brand new tow mirrors with the black and chrome two-tone. Truck is sick. It's sick. It's ready to go. It's the ultimate farm truck, gangster truck, weekend show truck. Whatever you want it to be, that truck does it amazingly. And flatbeds are way more useful than you think. I know there's guys that they're not big fans of flatbeds. They're like, oh man, it's a flatbed. You can't use the bed the same as a normal bed. Well, no, it's not the same as a normal bed, but the usability whether you need to cut lumber off the side of the bed pack stuff on there that you can stack high and strap down i mean you, you can just do so much more as a work truck with a flatbed than without one it's the ultimate setup right now our highest entry bonus multiplier is live right now every one dollar is going to get you 30 entries towards winning Nasty 2.0 plus five thousand dollars in cash so head on over to lmpgear.com place those orders because this sunday will be our last day to get 30 times entry towards winning this truck which is our max entry multiplier if you're wanting 30x entries exclusively towards nasty red this is your window to do that so hit the link in the description or just type it out lmpgear.com grab some entries spin the wheel on the site right now we're giving you guys a huge bonus for launch week and then it's going to get taken down to go towards winning this truck. All of our highest bonuses are live for every $1 spent. So get to the store, take advantage of it, because it ends on Sunday.
technology we got in this thing. It's not too far off from us. Can we get a lie? Like, we're gonna talk about how the Amish guys like living in the past. This really isn't that far advanced. <laughs> like, they went from like what he's living on, like horse and buggy, like went from that to second gen. That ain't even a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it went from that to this. I wonder who has more horsepower. Like, honestly. We should, we should ask him if we can do a pull-off between our truck and his four plow horses. That'd be a decent competition, honestly. Honestly? No, it wouldn't. Dude, if we're talking about a 600 horsepower compound turbo to pull about with four-wheel drive. Every zerk that we can find. I don't know if the steering shaft has one or not, but if it does, we're gonna hit that one too. Do it! all the grease zerks on the truck, upper and lower control arms, universal joints that have grease zerks, the grease zerks on the universal joint going to the rear axle from the drive shaft. We we're just going to replace a steering dampener. I said it's stabilizer. I think it's kind of a steering stabilizer slash, you know, dampener. You're probably wondering what the freaking jack is under there for. <laughs> well, we're going to explain what the jack was under there for. You didn't rotate the business tires. What the heck were you using a jack for? A couple of things. When we went to get removed, the steering stabilizer, steering dampener, old boy here was seized up bad. Three hours of trying to get this thing off, it would not come off. And then an idea hit me, Ty, when you were gone. I want to get your tacos. Because they screwed you. Our up. tacos. Oh, oh, no, the no, second time. Like, because they because you got all the way back here. <laughs> they didn't even give me tacos, actually. You ordered tacos and they just threw all the taco like ingredients in a bowl. No no shells or anything. Yeah, no, it was. It's not even tacos. But anyway, so close. he leaves and you know how there was this fitting? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, maybe it's, you were like, well, maybe it's threaded. And I'm like, no, dude, I know they're not threaded. Well, keep in mind, I've worked on these second gens before. So if you saw that, you would think, well, maybe it is threaded. Well, it's really just in case that thing starts spinning free, you can put a wrench on that. If you're trying to put a nut on or loosen a nut, it doesn't, you know, you know, it doesn't go spinning around it for some reason, it's freely spinning. That was not a problem here, this thing was seized up. So I ground off the dampener, if you wanna show them there. I ground it off, this part right here was the part that was stuck in that tie rod. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think it was a tie rod. And I ground that off, cause I was thinking, dude, if I grind this off, I can stick a freaking impact on that, um, as soon as I did that, rounded it off, zip, boop, popped out instantly. That's what I'm talking about. Right. I mean, yeah, we only wasted what? Before five we five hours. Before we got to that part, I was like, "Well, I gotta get more room so I can hit that thing with a hammer." So I was like, "Well, I'm just gonna lower the track bar." Didn't realize how bad the track bar was until I ripped it off. So. I'm trying to get the track bar off. I pop it out. And then by the time I rip it off, the freaking rubber just like starts to fall apart because it must have never been changed or moved or who knows what. And then I get it off and then I'm looking at this and this thing is just like, I mean, just totally freely moving around in there. And this isn't, this is just supposed to be a dust cover, but it's not really doing it any good to keep any of the grease in. So what we're just gonna do is replace the track bar. Um, it was one of those things where by the time I took it out, you know, the threading on this got messed up, the nut over there that came off there got messed up, the cotter pin was messed, I mean, totally trashed. Um, and by the time we got this off, this was all like 
I was like, this thing is just wore out. Um, not as snug as it was supposed to be by the time I started pulling it off and messing with it. So I'm like, you know, we're just gonna put a new track bar on this thing. We don't have it today, because it's already towards the end of the day, because we spent so long trying to test that stupid thing, which normally, like keep in mind, I just replaced one of these on Reagan's truck the other day, my wife's truck. It was a full 10 minutes, like between pulling her off, putting the new one on, bada beam, bada boom, done. Um, that's what I thought we were signing up for today. Mm -hmm. Not even close. Um, apparently they're mounted a little bit different and they're way more prone to seizing up. So no, how many hours has it been? Too many. Yeah. Way, way too, too many, many for a job like that. And myself having a brain fart, I didn't think sooner, oh, I can just cut off this here, you know, just cut it off in between the dampener and this, you know, three quarter inch hex nut basically. And then I could just throw an impact on there and it'll, you know, We'll spin that thing around and break it loose. Should have had that idea sooner. I don't know why I didn't. I was just so stuck on the idea of I'm going to hit that thing out with a hammer or something. I wasn't thinking about other options that could have been more effective. So here we are. And uh, we did grease all the Zerks though. That one we greased also, but by the time I took it off, now there's no grease in it anymore because the dust cover and everything came apart and I realized that it's wore out. So. We're going to be replacing that tomorrow and then hopefully that's all good. It's just one of those things like we weren't really even planning on doing this, but then once you get into something and you start to find other things, you're like, the truck drives totally fine, but that should probably get swapped. Like I'm already in here. It's already halfway off. Pull it off the rest of the way, put a new one in. Just don't think about it again. You know, just one of those deals. I don't know how long this video was. I don't think we got a lot of like, video video but it was just more so a lot of frustrations with stupid stuff um hopefully guys st still somehow enjoyed it i didn't enjoy it not even a little bit not even lie no, it was i hated every minute of it i was like why why did i even decide to do this today like i had so many other things i wanted to do um but i wanted to do it for the youtube i wanted to have something for you guys to watch today and i'm like i'm just gonna go make a video it'll be quick ty come on like 25 minutes <laughs> I Five of his whole work day was helping better. with this. I mean, abs seems like an absolute waste of time. But we got a new heavy duty steering dampener on there. And now we're getting a new track bar since we had to rip that one off. And by the time we ripped it off, we realized that it's actually trash. Again, the truck still drove great, but it's trashed. So we're replacing it anyways. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get entered to win the beautiful one and only Nasty Road 2.0, beautiful. Compound turbo tool up comes, it comes with $5,000 in cash. Um, there's no better time to enter if you want to get exclusively entered in for Nasty Red with our highest bonus. That is live right now on this site. Go check out the site if you have it. Tons of new things. I mean, we give you a shipping estimate on every product page. We've got uh, some new products hopefully dropping soon. It's been kind of a struggle trying to get new stuff constantly on the store because I know there's a lot of you that have already bought a lot of the stuff on there and you're looking for new stuff. So we're trying to get that brought to you guys soon. Check out the Influencers tab. If you guys have never seen that, we actually have partnered up with a lot of the influencers you guys know and love on like Instagram and TikTok and stuff like that. And some of our favorites that we keep along with on social media, would they actually have their own merch on our site? You can actually shop some of their stuff. We got Camo Truck, we got the Cummins 2003, Stunt 94, LM Diesel, bunch of those other names on there. If you guys wanna go check out their merch, if you're looking for something new, there's all those pages of merch also, and that stuff's all completely different stuff than the rest of our store. So go check it out. It's easy to find on the site. Get in there to win this truck, and I'll see one of you here soon to pick up this truck, and then shortly after, somebody to pick up this one. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.